what up guys uh, people in the stream wanted to ask a commentary analysis of game of the quarterfinals of the Southeast Asia division so here we are uh, we'll see we'll start with the draft because that's when that was my draft to be honest was pretty bad so we tried I don't know who we were up to but um, I think they wanted to do the cool thing I don't know Kappa Pride alright so we start with the draft here uh, I don't know what we we're doing here I think we wanted to run a early game type of strat with the axe since they banned invoker we banned invoker so they banned an alchemist so the plan here was to make them so we banned the omni knight which i don't know we were which was actually pretty bad because it would have been really great for the axe combo but we chose the dazzle anyway so this is my draft and we first picked Axe so it was kind of obvious which was really a dumb pick it was really easy to counter so we picked Axe and I don't know who the first pick was I think it was the band of Timber so as well at this point they knew they knew we were gonna do a push strat but they still chose a Vengeful which was a pretty bad pick against Axe and here they're picking and they picked the uh, beastmaster that's actually uh, so that's actually a really bad pick as well concerning it's a second pick and they had nothing to combo with it so we were drafting and our first two pick was our Strat. So it was a axe and a dazzle strat, and first we thought, oh no, we're gonna lose. Oh, since I was drafting, I don't know, I was thinking. So they we picked dazzle. It's kind of obvious that we want to try lane, but we ended up not trying lane anyway. The bounty, the bounty, that we actually we were pretty confident they were gonna pick draw here because it's re well it was really good for the defense for with beastmaster also but they we banned it we were pretty confident they were gonna pick it up and a life stealer as well which was really great for axe and since there was the support they might they might we thought they may have picked terror blade in a and a life stealer. but they know they picked the techies which was really a very very dumb it's suicidal or fatal pick it's not a pick they wanna use here so we pick all our early game push strat shadow shaman was really great for the defense for the push i mean because we just dropped the word and they can't do anything about it they picked the profit which was i think was an okay pick, but we had tanky heroes so and if the axe would get blade mail or pike they would be pretty useless so we we're pretty confident we could win this unless we don't make a mistake who's our next pick here they banned the Spectre, which I don't know what they're thinking of. Spectre on an early game draft was not suitable. Pick ban. Thanks. So we took a Prince here because we said we're gonna take towers. We're gonna take every tower they they have. So we went ahead and picked Prince. And I was playing. Oh, I picked. Prepare for battle. No, no, no. I picked the uh, 
bench will start. Thirty again. seconds said to battle. They wanted the quick drop, so I so I went along and went to get clinks. So here was actually pretty dumb. We knew they had techies and there would be bombs there. We went along and fight because we thought we had the, the battle game. begins. The fight, so let's have for our health. And our Marana almost dies. I think he dies. And I don't know what I'm doing for the reason. First blood! Got the first blood. Yay, yay, yay. blood. For nothing. So that was a really dumb play from us in general. And the techies was pretty smart. He was pretty high in the <laughs> Pretty bad mistake from us. You, you can't have those kind of mistakes in uh, pushing strat because if you do, it's kind of over for you. When you have a pushing strat, you just wanna fight, push, avoid fights, just push and push and push, losing nobody. That's why Dazzle and Axe was good for our draft. And since we won here, and we had an aggressive so offlane with Axe and Dazzle. And we won that lane. See, we're just cutting creep wave here because they had nothing and they had the techies at top. So, I think we got the two kills here. I don't remember when. So, this is really good if you're playing against Terrorblade because. Look at him, he's got 18 TS. Which is actually not bad, but we're getting benefits from this time. We got the two here. Level one techies, and from from here onwards, we kind of just snowballed the game. So we just won the game. Uh, they had they couldn't do anything with this lineup. Terra Blade getting not getting free farm and wasting a lot of regions. This was good for us. And we're about to be snowball again. So this guy acts felt he wanted to kill them. So we along. We have enough here in Shadow Blade. We invaded the metamorphosis. Nears Axe almost dying, but he didn't. I think. So here we are, trying to kill them. This is a really bad position because the DP could TP in and the Beastmaster and we'd be all dead. But no, we get lots of kills. And we just kinda won at this time. Even though we died there, it was not bad. So we knew that we cannot, we cannot have them win. Early game, uh, late, early game. So we de decided to push, which was the reason I picked Clinks because he's really good with early push and his damage to the towers, OP. And so they 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 went along, fight fight bot. I don't know what happened. To them. Oh, so we got we killed him with. With the Marana ult. Which is quite unusual. So we dropped the wards and we knew we wanted to push here. And I had no TP so I just went to harass the tower. And I did this for the game while the fight. So I just took the top tower. Put less pressure on us. So we just do that for about... I just did that. While we get kills. Because we are our early game is really really strong. Especially against Techies. Radiant so bottom tower be here? under attack. Dyer's top tower be under So why we're pushing? We took two towers from that. Dyer's middle You see, it's really low. Ten minutes in the game. No one can TP. This beastmaster kept leaving the lane. Dyer's so it was kinda three tower, but we had no choice anyway. We can't do anything in lane. If killing you is
So we push and push. Radiant I did that push and push and style of tanks, and we just snowballed the game. And here we just wanted to fight them because the early game was really weak. So we had a deep beat. The Murano. Double kill. Uh, what else happened here? All right, so where were we? Um, so at this point, we're in the lead. We didn't want to throw the game. So what we did? Uh, um. So this was when we rushed. Up. This was the game, game, game. So since we have the lead. We felt we wanted to take Rush, and they had no way of contesting it unless they get a really good DP ult and they had no stuns, reliable stuns. So we t we take a free Rush. I think they went to contest this because they knew. Um, but when they got there, it was still pretty low. We still fought them. Yeah. We got the rewards done, which was really good. And I thought we were really big, so we were going there, but we got it. And here, we basically just won. Won the game. I don't know what happened here, to be honest. I was just looking at Roshan. So, what happened here was... They initiated with, um, with a DP. So the old came. It was really good that I don't know what the DP was doing here. He shouldn't have ran when he was somewhere. He just generally generally the And he got a free call. Double kill! Easy game. And he just won. Techie's doing nothing. Mega kill! Could have at least went there in suicide. <laughs> but he didn't. Which I think that was the game, game, game. The head look at our lead. We got let's see the graph here. Uh fuck. Huh? I don't know, but look at the net worth. We got everyone all our carries higher than their thing. Their carries. And caught a GG but it was a fake one. And they had no way of contesting us, they had no DPO, uh, they had DPO, but we went to push anyway, we another fight, we know that we can't lose the fight, no matter what they do, no we can lose the fight, so we snowboard this game, middle tower be under attack. and look at us, we're diving pretty Radiance low, middle tower has fallen. Uh, right, strong here, Yes. Radiance middle tower be under attack. So, okay, so here we just we should have just back, but we should have just back and push bot. I mean, if you think about it, we ha you have no clue. So team just go push bottom. So we wasted so much time doing that, but we had no we had the creeps here, which was here before. But now we wasted so much time. But luckily they didn't want to contest us and we just take a free tower. So everyone came here. We all TP'd, we got Busu Travel and Mirana. We don't need to worry about him. And we basically push that tower. And then that's the end of the game. Just kept on getting advantages. And here we are, drop the wards. Once okay, so once you drop the wards, that's nothing there's nothing you can do about it. You just lose. Unless they contest it and kill all the words because it does so much damage here. So we snowball here. Just won the game. And they didn't want to contest even though they're losing two racks. But here they did. The Guru Tutus here. It's okay. So here we are. I don't know what I was doing here. I was looking at the raft. I swapped him and died. 
because I said I was gonna get um, MKB, uh, BKB. So yeah, here we were pretty confident we won, and nothing else goes on around this game. Uh, we just push and push and push uh, until we get to the end. Because there's no way you could uh, stop us. Like, they kill us. Double kill. That's game one. That was the quarterfinals. And game. Okay. I don't even need to go through this. But uh, the semifinals. Uh, it was sort of me drafting. Um, no, it was it wasn't me. It was poetic. It's poetic drafting. This guy. So this draft, with this game, and we thought we wanted to do have a draw strat, and it sh actually did not work. Uh, you can't see the thing because they pick. I don't know, but we pick the juggernaut for the ca for the alchemist because we knew that juggernaut would fuck him early game, and we would just basically snowball the game. But it turned out he couldn't. Die, di didn't die as much and I was playing the Jar Ranger here we were supposed to have an early push again since we had reliable stun on Centaur but it was Lark that snowballed won the, them the game it was a shadow he, he had a shadow blade here so um, he would just kill me and shadow blade and kill me while he's in this and we can't do anything about it because we had didn't have that much stun and didn't have a good tank so slark so this game was basically us being outdrafted it was very much outdrafted we did fine but not me because I died seven times but it's fine yeah so it was outdrafting was a slark and so we lost a game GG Right uh, If there's any more questions you guys want to ask uh, I'll be here Ask him So uh, Why Why would you pick Joe uh, with, What would you do a Joe strat Without a range hero uh, Because your mom's a cop and and we're Kappa Prides Lul and yeah uh, so did you contest any rooms for Alchemist? how did you get that farm? so we actually did contest every room but look at his death he's got only two we couldn't kill him at all Why, why didn't you guys just try and push early game? Because we had no damage and we were pussies. So we couldn't push. It's pretty hard for us to push because the alchemist got his radiance at 9 minutes and yeah. What did we do after the game? Uh, it was a TI uh, after party. We just went. I'm not really big fan of drinking but I made an ex assumption uh, exception for this event so we went out just had a couple a one half a quarter glass so uh, we went uh, I remember fans taking photos with us uh, we got to the hotel uh, we got I mean we got to <laughs> we got to the our our house gaming room our gaming house and we just had a party even though it was semifinals <laughs> we were pretty disappointed we could have won that I mean I think Shadow Demon Boys won this game they were pretty good but you know someone has to lose yeah so we just had 
Okay, how much did we get from being in the semifinals? Uh, we got around two, $200,000. <laughs> yeah, but the New Zealand government is a retard and decides that they're gonna take 20% of that. So we ended up getting at least 50k in each player, but it was okay. It was our first tournament. What did I do with the money? Uh, I bought your mom a car, bro. Yeah. Easy. Alright, so I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go later. Uh, streaming back next week. Kappa.